This is lesson one of the Anatomy and Physiology series from Envisionary Eye Care. I'm Dr. Kennedy, so I'll be taking you through these lessons and uh, we'll get started. Now, first we're going to start with anatomy and physiology, all right? With anatomy, you need to know what its um, definition is and you also need to know what the definition of physiology is. Now, you can follow along with your video ebook that you should have access to and you can download if you so desire. Okay? Now, anatomy. Anatomy is defined as body parts. And physiology is the study of the functions of these body parts. Okay, so that's the first thing that we need to know. Anatomy is the study of the body parts and physiology is the study of the functions of the body parts. Now, before we can really study anatomy and physiology, we have to have a basic guideline as to what the structure of the human body is, okay? Or what the structure of a living organism is. Now. This is the way that um, organisms are built. The cells are the smallest basic unit, the smallest structural unit of a living being. Okay? Now, every cell has a nucleus, and then there are other things that cells have. They have nucleus, a nucleus, they have a cell membrane, and they have other organelles and things in them that cause them to be a cell, okay? Now, the medical term for cell is cyto. This is a root or combining form that means cell. And karyo is the root or combining form that means nucleus. Karyo. Okay? Now, the root is cyte. The combining form is cyto. Okay? I will not say the root and the combining form. I'll just say the combining form because it's easier. Okay. Now, tissues. Here we have a cell with its nucleus. When you have a group of cells that come from the same origin, this group of cells makes what's called tissue. So tissues are a group of cells that are grouped together and they have the same morphological uh, identity, okay? Now, the medical term for tissue is histo. Histo is the root and combining form for tissue. Hist is the root and histo is the combining form and it means tissue. Now, when you get several tissues together, they grouply, and these are tissues that pretty much perform the same function, you have fibers. And fibers, the um, medical term is fibro, fibro, which means fibers. And fibers are a group of tissues that are grouped together, okay? Now, adenine adin is gland, and a group of fibers make what are called glands. Now, glands are also organs. Now, an example of an organ would be the heart. 
An example of tissues would be cardiac tissue. And when you get all of the cardiac tissue together, all of these cardiac tissues together, they form the organ of the heart. Now, once you get several organs together that work together to do a certain um, function, then those organs working together are called systems. So systems are a group of organs working together to perform a particular function. Okay? Then you have organisms. And organisms, a complete living organism, is a several systems that work together to create a complete living organism. And this concludes lesson one of our anatomy and physiology series.